Hey guys, it is Sunday, April 26th, I think. It's 12.31 p.m. <laughs> uh, lunchtime. Um, I have already been um, uh, eco dyeing some more fabric and filming it for you all on YouTube, what exactly I did and why I did it. Um, we're also, I don't think you can see it from here. Let's see, there we go, oops, there. So I've got my pot on the stove, a pot that's ex um, only used for crafting purposes. That pot never touches food. Anyway, I've got the rest of the flowers I picked up yesterday in the pot with some water boiling. I'm hoping it dyes the water the same way it dyed the fabric and we get some ink out of it. So, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I've also got some eco-printed paper out of the whole thing and hoping to get some more of that. The fabric I just did this morning is sort of uh, dripping off and drying right now. It's stained nicely, but it needs to be less damp before I pull it apart and um, take the foliage out and then put the, I'm gonna put the foliage on some paper and sandwich that. And anyway, it's part of a whole video. If you wanna see exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, there's a video for that and I will try to link it down below for you all um, and try to have it out as soon, if it's out, I'll have it, try to have it out as soon as possible. If there's no link, it's because it's not out yet, but keep an eye on my channel. That means you have to like, share, and subscribe. Maybe hit the little bell icon for notifications. Um, what else am I doing? I've got my sourdough starters out on the counter coming to room temperature so I can feed them and also mix I'm gonna make um, some sourdough rye bread. It looks like I'm gonna be making the bread tomorrow because I need to feed my starter, regular starter, put it back in the fridge. I need to take some of the discard out and I need to make a rye starter. Um, I'll, this is a King Arthur flour recipe, so I'll link it below for you all if you all are bakers and are interested. Anyway, I need to take two tablespoons of it and make a sourdough rye starter for this particular bread and that has to come uh, ripen for 14 to 16 hours so that's gonna have to ripen overnight um, in the meantime there'll be some discard so I may make another batch of sourdough crackers which is in here somewhere there it is sourdough crackers so I might do that but in the meantime while all of that's happening I'm gonna eat some lunch because I haven't done that yet I haven't had anything except coffee did I have yogurt this morning Oh, I had a cinnamon roll. Husband made cinnamon rolls. <laughs> anyway, they're all at the kid's house right now, and he not only brought a load of stuff over to their house, but I think he was helping them get the vanity for their bathroom, which came in. And I don't know if they're installing that today or not, but um, he was going to go help them pick it up with my Subaru Outback. Hopefully it fits in the Outback. Otherwise, I don't know how they got it. Um, so yeah, they move out in a week, I think. Oh, it'd be nice to have the house back to myself, but it's going to be kind of weird. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to eat lunch. I'll be back.
guys. So I've spent the morning video editing and if you're watching this clip, you just saw a clip of me taking a part of an old pair of headphones that weren't working anymore. Um, I had a video that aired today. It is Monday, by the way. Monday? Yeah, Monday. <laughs> the 27th, I think. Anyway, um, that I had a video that aired today, Junk in Art. And um, yeah, doing things like taking apart part dead electronics are one way I cultivate and collect art supplies and things that I can use in art and mixed media. So I took the headphones apart and found some interesting, interesting bits and pieces that I'm going to save and the rest went in the trash. And yeah, so I did that. I still have to work on some slow stitching. I got my video filming list together of stuff I need to film in the next couple days for May. And um, I'm missing something. Oh, I need to make bread and more crackers. I made a batch of sourdough crackers last night. This, it was gone like within an hour. Anyway, I need to make some more. <laughs> All right, first I'm gonna get the mail and take a break for a minute and then I'll get back to it. I'll be I back. I didn't get any main videos filmed today. Hopefully I'll get at least the first couple filmed tomorrow. Um, but I did get I shouldn't say that. I did get an eco dive video filmed and it'll air May 4th. Um, and that's already edited and uploaded and scheduled. And the vlog for Wednesday is already done too. Then I also made a loaf of sourdough rye bread. I'm going to be making some more sourdough crackers because we're out again. <laughs> they did, they went quick. Um, I don't know what we're doing for dinner past. I just know I have to make crackers. That's all I know. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did get some stitching done, but, um, yeah, anyway, it's Monday. What do you want? <laughs> All right. That's it for the moment. I'll be back. It's just before one o'clock on Tuesday. Um, I got my first couple of videos uh, filmed for May. Um, I already had one sort of bonus film, fil bonus video filmed on eco dyeing, and um, that's scheduled too. So I've got the first three videos filmed, edited, loaded. Um, I'll do a couple more tomorrow and probably a couple more Thursday. We'll just do it like that. So going forward, I'm going to be putting less content up on YouTube, but hopefully the content I am putting is a little bit more interesting and educational. I hope. Different, maybe? We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> um, what else? Um, the My Creative Year videos going forward are going to be um, unlisted and only for the people in the Facebook group. So if you want to see those videos and you want the links, you kind of need to be a member of the Facebook group. Sorry guys. I will also be filming some special videos just for patrons and or they'll be getting copies of videos early before everybody else. Um, they may even, yeah, I am not gonna finish that sentence because I'm not sure I haven't fleshed the idea out yet, but anyway. So there's changes going on, using the opportunity of being stuck into shake things up a little bit so you know I'm not, I, I've not gotten anything else to do so <laughs> I may be putting some things on sale in the Etsy shop too to clear out some old inventory so keep tabs on that and uh yeah I'm gonna go back upstairs and do some slow stitching and gather the mail and you know stuff I'll be back
Hey guys, we are headed out for a walk. It's a very warm evening, hence the tank top. Fred doesn't even have a jacket on. Like, and he's cold all the time. Anyway, we're headed out for a walk. Uh, as I said earlier, there's gonna be some changes to video on the YouTube channel, different kinds of video subjects, less video, but I, hopefully the video I do provide for you um, is more interesting. There's some changes I meant to make after the first of the year and then the pandemic happened. So I'm working on it. I'm just a little late, late to the game. But anyway, we're gonna go for a walk. I didn't bring a Ziploc bag with me to get more flowers, but I probably have enough dye right now. So anyway. That's true. We have we have a lily leavings bag. Yeah, so we could always fill that with flowers. All right, so we're gonna go for a walk, get some exercise, some vitamin D. I hear that's good for the immune system. And uh, we'll be back. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, April 29th. I have spent most of the morning filming some video, doing some more eco printing. Um, I'll insert some pictures here of the finished piece. Uh, I did film a little video that will probably go up for YouTube membership. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it might go up for, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I did film a video. Um, I also filmed a couple other videos, one for our patrons and one for YouTube. Um, I have to edit everything now. Fun times. I'll be back. <laughs> Hey guys, obviously I'm geared up. I am headed out to do a curbside pickup at Joann's. I'm out of muslin again. Uh, and I need to check the P.O. box. Um, haven't checked it in probably way too long. And if there was any mail, they might have sent it back. So if you sent me happy mail and it came back, it's because I forgot to go pick it up. So we're gonna go do that. Um, of course, taking all precautions that we can. I've kind of saved up checking the P.O. box until I had another reason that I needed to go out. Because we shouldn't be going out if we don't have to, right? So, anyway, I'm going to go do that. I've got disinfecting wipes in the car. I've got, actually, one of the cans of Lysol. One of the couple, only two cans of Lysol spray I have in the house. In the I have one of them in the car. I'm going to wipe down the outside of the bag and spray the inside of the bag. As soon as I get home, I will um, wash the fabric and spray everything else that's in the bag again before bringing it further in the house. All that stuff, you know, normal jazz these days, right? Um, hey guys, it's Thursday evening. Is it April 30th? It's the last day of the month. Tomorrow's the first of May. Uh, headed, obviously, headed out for our evening walk. I spent the morning filming the kids art videos and then the afternoon when I got back from Joann's, I washed the fabric and disinfected everything. And then I sat and went through my button box and my grandmother's button box, which I hadn't done. She died many years ago now. I inherited all her sewing stuff and I've been finding working on slow stitching I'm enjoying using it. I think she'd be happy about that. So I sorted through her buttons so I can use some more of her things in my stitching. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk. And anyway, as I was saying, it's very people-y. Um, <laughs> I never sorted through any of her sewing stuff when she passed. I just put it in a box and it's been in my art room. I didn't purge any of it or anything. I just kept it all. So I've been going through it. Found some fabulous silk buttonhole twist in her sewing box. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Grandma, why didn't you tell me? Um, I only yesterday found out that there was such a thing as linen buttons. Linen like the fabric. Um, I don't have any of those. I can't get them there. You have to like be in the United Kingdom. I don't think anybody over here has them. And if they do, they're really expensive. But she's got some really pretty fabric, vintage fabric buttons in her button stash. 
So thankfully I found them because I went through everything today. So it's all good. Anyway, we're gonna get back to slow stitching tomorrow and then more filming on Monday. All right, I'm gonna go walk. I'll be back. Hey guys, we're out for our evening stroll. Family is up there. Up there, up there. There they are. Anyway, I spent the day slow stitching. A rainbow spool slow stitch. I'll put some pictures here. I didn't really get anything else done, but that's okay. I had fun doing it. Now we're going to get some steps in and we'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 1030-ish in the morning, Saturday, May yep. 2nd. Yes. Right? Yep. Uh, we are headed over to the kid's house. And since they've been living with us, I don't need to wear mask or anything. Oh, boy. Co coronavirus quarantine here. Can you see that? Yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to go. I haven't been to their house yet because I've been, while they were working on it, I've been here. I was the designated chief cook and bottle washer and dog sitter. So I, <laughs> I haven't seen the house yet. So I get to go over with them this morning and finally see all the changes that were made. So yay, we might stop at the store later. We're not sure yet. We do need to get groceries this weekend, but we're not sure. I don't think if we want to do it today or tomorrow or late tonight or I don't know. I have the stuff with me just in case. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Okay, so it is um, almost 2.30. Lily has been in her crate for four hours, so that's about her time limit in the crate. Um, so I'm going to go home and let her out. Turn left on to... Anyway, the, everybody is still working at the kid's house, um, trying to get the vanity put in. It's a typical 1970s era, late 60s era house. has funky plumbing, so... Um, Bob is kind of racking his brain trying to solve an issue. He'll get it done. It just might take a little while. In the meantime, Lily's been in her crate about four hours, so that's pretty much as long as we want to leave her in a crate. So I'm going to head home and let her out. Plus, I have some lunch. I'm starving. I didn't have bre even have breakfast before we left this morning, so um, we haven't gone to the grocery store or anything yet. We do need to go sometime today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. I don't know when that's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head home. The kids' house is looking great. They're doing a great job. They have a long way to go, but it's gonna be a cute little house when they're done. I'm very excited for them. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna head home, watch some YouTube videos, have some lunch, maybe do some stitching, you know, check the mail, all of that stuff. All right, I'll be back. Obviously I'm home and I'm in the studio. I've had some lunch, let the dog out a couple of times. <laughs> um, the house is quiet. Everyone is still over at the kids, but they did, uh, my husband was helping them install a vanity in their bathroom and they did get it done. Um, they figured out some plumbing issues and it's all done and good, so yay. <laughs> um, I may continue work on my um, new slow stitch, my rainbow inspired, there we go, slow stitch, um, of which I should have already put a picture in the video prior to this somewhere of it on the uh, antique spool that it's going to go on. Um, but bonus, I'm loving this one so much. I need to add embellishments and beads and beads and buttons and things to it, but I'm loving it so much. I'm going to be making more. And the good news is I think I've not only talked my husband into making me some more spools, but he's figured out how to make me some more large wooden spools. And if it's cost effective enough and I can talk him into doing it, we may be able to offer a few on the Etsy shop. Cross your fingers. So anyway, I'm going to go downstairs now and I'm going to raid his washer hardware stash because somebody from the Sew for the Soul handma handmade um, Instagram group figured out how to do some replica linen buttons out of some metal washers and cotton. So I'm gonna try that, but I need to go raid his box first. So while he's still at the kid's house, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna end the week there. It's been a fun one. Um, a creative one. I'm enjoying discovering new things like this. Um, I have to, if I have to be home, 
And they're telling me I can't go to the shops. I am having fun discovering, making new things, interesting things with what I have. And the joys of some of those fun online um, shops that are out there, the little mom and pop shops, besides mine, of course, <laughs> um, and the different shops where I can get other things besides what I sell. I'm enjoying discovering those. And there's some really good ones out there. I'll post some links to my favorite Etsy shops down below. And of course, also mine is down there too. Um, your favorite creatives probably have a way to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. Um, it, it's probably in their video description. If it's not, ask them, because I bet you they have a way. Um, so we would all of us appreciate, if you can, that you do support us that way. Um, yeah. It's all good. And right now I know for the month of May, my Etsy shop has 15% off all the stamps and stencils in stock. I need to reduce some inventory and clear out some space. And so, yeah, it's on sale. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Yeah, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.